Kelly Klopstein here today to share with you some fun techniques uh, using just some basil raven cardstock and Inca Gold. Inca Gold is a really cool medium. It is a beeswax uh, product and it washes off really well and dries very quickly, doesn't smudge, and comes in all kinds of colors. Even though it's called Inca Gold, it's actually it's made by Viva Decor. There are, it's not just gold. I do use gold though um, in this video and on the layout, the gold color, but there's probably four different colors of gold. There's Indian gold, there's yellow gold, there's antique gold. So um, I also have cobalt blue and rose quartz, which is a nice pink. So on this particular layout, I used, um, oh, I also have a small lava red and I use that on the leaf. So I'll just quickly show you um, what I featured actually on uh, Julie Faye Van Balzer's blog, Balzer Designs, showing some cool um, techniques with her stencils and Inca Gold. So basically you can take your, your card stock and let's, let's do a red one. And one application is for vibrant color is simply using your fingertip and putting the Inca Gold directly applying it to oh yeah let me open it just a minute it actually this has a tight seal on it you do want to keep your Inca Gold sealed very very tightly because it dries out easily so if it does dry out what you do is you open it up uh, give it a spritz or two with water or three and close it up and let it sit for quite a while and let it reabsorb the water. This is a little bit dry my red. So basically I'm going to just hold this stencil into place and dip my finger into the red and then just apply it that way. And I'm going to rub it in um, to the stencil like so. And you do want to, and it's going to be harder for me to do because my red is a little bit dry. So normally it won't be um, that difficult. But uh, this is what you do and you think, well your stencil and finger is going to get dirty, but it's not really because it washes off very easily with water. However, in terms of using the product, this method is definitely going to use more product than you normally would because you are applying it directly with your finger. Now I'll just fast forward the rest of this. There, and here's the fun part lifting it off. Ta-da! And of course you can add, um, actually layer this on quite thickly and get more dimension, but um, in any case this is what I did for my leaf and then I actually cut it out and use it as my title. Alright, now the other thing way you can use Inca Gold and to actually use less product is what I did with this Oops, this floral quarter here, the fan, I think of it as a fan actually, and I used two colors, I used gold and the same lava red, but I did not use my finger with this, I'll show you what I did. I used uh, some foam, so I used a piece of foam, and you can use cut and dry and just cut off a piece for whatever size you need. I just have a small square or rectangle. And I will get my stencil, which I put somewhere. There we go. And this technique, I am actually going to get some product onto my foam. And I can do this right directly from, from the jar. Um, but a better way is actually to use a piece of plastic. So I'll just use the back of my, I always use plastic from packaging. And you can put the product on here, the Inca Gold right on here, 
with your finger or not, like so, and then pick it up with your foam, which is easier to do. But what you want to do is actually add a little spritz of water. Not much water, just a little. I mean, if you do add more water, your paper will warp, which is okay. But if you keep it light on the water, then you have a um, nice, soft, subtle effect. So you hold your stencil into place and you just basically use the foam to put it on your black cardstock. Be careful, the uh, foam you know, might move the stencil out of place. And when you need more, you just add a little bit more and add your water. Most of you who are organized will have a nice craft mat on hand, but hey, that's the way it goes here. And put it wherever you like. And I'm just leaving some spots empty because I'm going to add some red. All right, so now I will do the same with the red. I will add some red to my craft mat and my foam, like so. And let me tell you, you don't need a lot. I actually use too much here. The other thing actually I could do is I could take my stencil that I've just used, spritz it with water and get the red off of it that way. All right, okay, holding that in place, and then I can add my red. Again, if you have more product on your foam and less water, you, it will be more vibrant. So this is definitely going to be a little more subtle because I've added some water and the red will be not as vibrant. So you can totally control how you want to customize your colors and your result. Again, I'm just using the black for, you know, um, dramatic effect, but you can apply this to any color of cardstock. I like to use the basil because it holds up well. And the magic part is lifting up. Woo! That's always the best part. And you can imagine, you can have fun with this um, because you can't really see the shimmer, but you can have fun with this in, in terms of doing a stained glass effect as well. I'm going to be uh, playing with that in the future. Now, the one thing I wanted to mention though with Inca Gold, um, it's a good idea, especially after your stamping is dry um, or the leaf is dry. It just takes a few moments to dry. You take a clean cloth and you do, you buff it. And the buffing it will bring out the shimmer and it will um, set the product so the product will not move. Now this is still wet, so I don't really want to buff it, but when I do buff it, the shimmer will really come through. And the product will set, and it's not going to rub off on anything. So you can see how quickly the color did set, and it's hardly coming off on my, on my cloth, very little as it dries so quickly. So I don't know how my lighting is, but you can't really, can't really see what I, I did there. Anyway, um, the last tip I'd like to show you is, of course I used another of Julie's stencils, the Indian leaves, to create this. And I used the gold um, with the foam, but I used very little water. And that is why this is so vibrant. And the last thing I want, did want to tell you about are these stickers. So these stickers are not gold stickers. They're just some old stickers I had in my stash. 
here they are. They're old, um, what's that basic gray, right? Yeah. And look what I did. I just took some Inca gold on my finger and rubbed it right onto my sticker sheet. Oh, I've got red on there too. Anyways, you get the idea. So you can color, pick a finger that is clean, any, any sticker with any color, not just gold, with your blue, your pink, your purples, and then let it dry for a few minutes and give it a buff, set it on the sticker, and then you have, um, you've cha altered the color of your stickers. So that's it for my Inca Gold tutorial and, and my layout. So thanks for joining me. I'll put up a link to Julie's blog if you'd like to see more.